Welcome to the show. We are here in Henderson, Nevada, inside Dollar Loan Center for this highly anticipated preseason matchup between the potential number one and number two NBA draft picks in 2023. From France, Victor Wembanyama. He is 18 years old. Now he is listed at 7'2", but really he's closer to 7'4", maybe 7'5". And Scoot Henderson, a second year pro, he's now 18 years old. He might be closer to 6'4". I mean, when you look at the size, the skill, the footwork, everything, he has all the necessary tools to be not a good, but a great NBA player. The soft touch in the mid-range has the ability, of course, to catch and finish well above the rim. The dexterity to be able to finish with both hands around the basket and when you look at the shooting touch the skill the jump shot is beautiful picture perfect for a guy seven foot four now don't forget about scoot henderson he is a second year pro for here team ignite he is looking to take his game to the next level this year and scoot is explosive you're talking about a young man who at 17 was putting up 30 point games against grown men here he is now 18 years old and whenever he gets to the rim the rim is in danger stays in attack mode getting downhill developing as a shooter but keeps his pedal his foot to the pedal every time he has the basketball in his hand stays aggressive here's the starting lineups Aaron Henry for Metropolitan's 92. That name sounds familiar. He played for Michigan State as well as Tremont Waters. He played a few years in the NBA. He played at LSU in college. And then number one, Victor Wembanyama, seven foot four. That's who everyone came to see. For G League Ignite, Scoot Henderson there. He's their go-to guy. He'll be starting with John Jenkins, a former first round pick, went to the Hawks back in 2012. Leonard Miller is another guy, potential first round pick next year out of Canada. A lot of scouts want to see what he can do. When Victor Wembanyama came into the gym, I mean, there was just a buzz. All the cameras followed him. He was like a rock star entering the gym. And then as soon as he took the court and took his first few shots, everyone was silent. I mean, the scouts in attendance were just drooling at the touch this man has at his size, at his grace. It is something special. It really is. And again, when you talk about a young man, he's, he's played on the national stage. Metro 92 wins the tip. Block already. CD Sissoko with the first block for our G League Ignite coming out here in the home white. This is their new arena. They have moved here to Henderson, Nevada. They spent the first two years in Northern California. They are excited for this new home. Scoot Henderson, first jump shot, got it. How about Wemanyana being very unselfish, not even looking. He is the ultimate team player so far from what we've seen. Sissoko denied Wemanyana on the block. And that's where he really is a difference maker. He's the sharpshooter, letting it fly. You ever seen a 7-4 guy bringing it up, starting <laughs> things at the point? Ralph Sampson. We did see it in the 80s. We didn't see it often, but we did see it. But I'm not sure Yama Ralph was doing that. Bucket. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure Ralph was doing that at 18 years old. Henderson using the screen, blocked by Wimbanyana, his second block already. Henderson left alone for three. Miller, no good, staying with it. And off defensive goal, Kenny. Now, that was one of the things we saw in shoot-around. He's 18 years old right now, and those guys are probably in their 20s. So when you think about it, he's as good as advertised and just on the first couple possessions of this game for the two-block shot. Henderson going reverse. Wembanyama on top, throwing it down. The ultimate lob threat. You just have to throw it somewhere in the area. He has the athleticism and, of course, the size to be able to gather even bad passes and finish them off. Metro 92 with an early 8-6 lead here in this first quarter. Mika gets back to Henderson, finishes over Wembanyama. But when you think about Oscar, he's not going to shy away from attacking the basket. Does a great job getting his body in front of Victor there. But then when you see the ability just to toss the ball anywhere around the rim, and Wembanyama will be able to go finish. And now with G League Ignite making Henderson slash Las Vegas home, Wembanyama for three. There's really no such thing as close enough. He can't even see defenders when he raises up the shoot. Corey, that's not fair. It isn't. That's not fair. I like this matchup. Scoot right Henderson, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah! Right back at him. I love this matchup. So does Scoot. The future shining bright. Defender going under the screen. The seven-foot-four guard getting the job done. And Scoot 
play of both superstars. I think it's been a great start for both these guys. And you imagine the nerves that are going through them to start this game. You know that this is about you. The G League helped the NBA. And the opportunity that our players had. Oh, wow. The COVID pandemic, is, we get a look at Scoot Henderson attacking the basket. We talked about he would not be afraid to attack the rim. In G League history, to come to tonight, which it probably is the biggest game in G League history when you consider the moment, everything that's going about, as you mentioned, over 200 credentialed NBA executives in the building. You've got to be happy with the direction that this league is going. Yeah, we, we continue to grow. You know, you saw our, our in-season tournament that we started a couple years ago. We have some exciting things we want to do this year. Okay, here we go. Here we go. go. It's showtime! Uh, Scoop Henderson. Learn the name. There you go. Uh, yeah, here we go again. Okay, break this play down. <laughs> Let's just be be active, get out in the open court, and show what you got with a, with a little emotion. And when you... Wow. And you and Jay Hart spent a lot of time this summer at AAU tournaments all over the place. Option for young men. And we go out as, as you know, at the UYBL. Or a lot of our NBA players, Chris Paul is here tonight. He has a big presence. We have in school last year. I thought last year was just a great opportunity for him to grow up. And, you know, he's, you know, he's kind of the, the veteran now as you see him just being so poised. And hey, let's take a look at some of the highest drafted French players since 2010. Killian Haynes, Frank Milikina, uh, Victor Wembanyama. Projected to blow them all away. Yeah, absolutely. Projected to be higher than oh. everyone. Speaking of getting higher, <laughs> you're talking about... 7-4 going well above the rim, and I like him attacking the basket uh, on the floor. And again, it, it's much more difficult at 7-4 to be able to handle the basketball. His mother is about 6'3". She's a former basketball player. Father is about 6'5", 6'6". He's a former track star. I asked his mom, I said, how did you do it? Because you have this young man who is seven foot tall. He is so graceful, so skilled. Usually when you see guys at this age, they're still kind of figuring out their body. She told me, he's always been like this, just athletic. He did judo growing up. He was a, a goalie in soccer. But she said the key to his growth. Zion and R.J. Barrett, that bunch was a one-point game. Henderson showing off the handles. Reverse finishes over Wimbanyama. G League Ignite. Take a look at Scoop Henderson, what he does. The finish, though, going around the 7-4 Wimbanyama to be able to finish off the glass, the body control. First half did not disappoint. You see Chris Paul in the house, Victor Wimbanyama. Scoop Henderson, he might have gotten the best of that matchup in that first half. Henderson, 18 points. They were on there fourth, fifth heart surgery, you know, they, they were looking at me like it's going to be okay, and I was terrified, and those are the happiest kids in the world, so, you know, I want to get back to the kids, you know, because those little kids in the hospital with me showed me actually turning pro. Mm -hmm. But that was your decision. As a man, you said, I'm going to make that decision, that's what I'm going to do. As we watch Victor knock down the back-to-back -back threes, he's starting to get going a little Our conversation, then he ended up being on my side, he's like, you my son, I'm going to support you no matter what, you know, he... He uh, helped me get on this team, and you know I, I thank him for everything. You know he's he's taught me a lot, and he was like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be with you going pro, but you got to make sure you're ready. You got to make sure you show out. And we have we have a little bet, you know. Every time I get double digits, you know. more international. Leonard Mill with time decides to pass up, goes to the rack, short stays with it, no good. Another try, Miller in traffic. Oh, -oh! punched out of here. Wimbanyama says, no, no, no. And gets swatted out of bounds. And right there, you see just the dominance of Victor Wimbanyama. Jamal Waters cut off by Henderson. Good D. Wimbanyama on the deck, showing the moves. And he's going to be fouled. And you mentioned the release point. The follow through, the arc, everything about his shot mechanically is perfect. Now, Victor is officially listed as seven foot two, but well, standing next to him seems like he could be a lot taller. Devontae Jones trying to push the pace, hands off Wembanyama. Uh -oh. oh my uh -oh. goodness! But having to guard this in transition. The ability to raise up over top of defenders because they weren't going to help and leave him open under the basket. He was gesturing to shoot the basketball as soon as his teammate caught it. Henderson! Oh! And then the easy finish. 
Wimanyama wants it in the post. He wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. Turns and faces, trying to get the move. Step back, Wimbanyama. <laughs> this kid is good. Always to flip it up. But he's not a guy that's going to really be able to dominate with his back to the basket because he doesn't have a strong base. Here's the matchup we all came to see tonight. Here's how it's shaken out so far. Victor Wimbanyama, 24 points. Four of six from downtown. Stuart Henderson, not far behind him, went down. Well, the difference is those all those went down in college. And we're seeing a new era of basketball as these games don't happen in college. It's like it's not happening in college. Look at that pass. Look at him. Of the find by Scoot Henderson, putting it where only his teammate can get it. A boogity taking his time, gathering and going up and finishing. Tremont Waters has 15 now. Henderson with some space. You can't leave him that wide open. Transition, the kick ahead and finding it back. Hold it up, shooter. Scoot for three. Well, this is why we're all here tonight. Victor Wembanyama, the potential number one pick in next year's NBA draft. We got Scoot Henderson, potential number two pick. Forever, but with everything that you have going on in Vegas, it has become a great sports city. Wembanyama's calling for it on the block against Abakiti. Turns, faces, hanging. Excuse me, 26. Henderson, a deep two. 27 for Henderson, so these two guys have gone step to step against each other. Wembanyama calmly knocks down a three. Official stats can keep up. Henderson trying to set up his man now. With the blow by, oh! Buckets here. Well, I was wondering when Scoot was going to try Victor, and he does on this possession, but that is advantage Victor coming up with the block shot. Scoot has been great attacking the rim all night, finishing around. Wimbayama, but that time. That's a nearly eight foot wingspan. Rising up, rattles in another three. Come on, Wimbayama. man. With 34 points, six for nine from three. I mean, 10 to 18 from the field, the block shots, everything that he's done. And he wasn't comfortable to start this game. He'll be more comfortable starting the game on Thursday. Well, we were there at shoot around today, and they were talking with a rules official. Big fella is right. He said, "Yeah, I kind of got an idea." Henderson going hard. Wembanyama. He said, "Really?" Yeah, late call right there. First, if Scoot Henderson makes this layup, there's probably no call. But because he misses it, under two minutes to play, he misses the first. Henderson picks up his dribble, we'll get it back. Plenty of time, nine on the shot clock, blocked by Wimbanyama. That is his fifth block of the night. Denied that opportunity. All with the rebound. Waters finds the big man, calmly knocks down another. Victor Wimbanyama, seven threes, 37 points. Jenkins is double teamed, picks up his ball, finds Henderson. Henderson with the ISO, eight on the shot clock. Now here comes Mika with the screen. Henderson reach in and went Banyama. If that's on him, that is six. If this is a foul on Wimbayama, that is six. And again, there is contact. But is this contact created by Scoot Henderson? Victor reaches in, you see the win wingspan, knocks the basketball away. I personally believe that's incidental contact. Now again, Scoot, I mean, Scoot is moving in that direction. Victor reaches for the basketball. He knocks the basketball away cleanly. But there is contact, both of them butt heads at that point. And again, if the foul is on Victor. Final seconds in this outstanding ball game. Hassan with a hand in his face. Henderson gets the rebound, and that should do it for G League Ignite. What a performance. But neither of these guys approached it as though that were the case. 
you look at the number, 37 points, 11 for 20 from the field, 7 for 11 from three for Victor Wimanyana, Yama, and for Scoop, 28, nine assists and five rebounds. His teammates have talked about he's going to be a triple-double threat throughout this season.